Hey guys, welcome to our third part in our four part series on the Shapiro Stiglitz model. In this video, we're going to talk about the no shirking condition. Let's go. So, what is the no shirking condition? The no shirking condition is a condition regarding the wage a firm must pay its workers so that they don't shirk. Specifically, they must pay enough such that the value of being employed is greater than or equal to the value of shirking. Since a worker exerts a fixed amount of effort, or none at all, there is no incentive of the firm to pay more than enough just to motivate the workers to put in their effort. Thus, the firm chooses a wage such that the value of putting in effort is equal to the value of shirking. This will be used as a requirement for solving the no shirking condition. So in terms of deriving the no shirking condition, recall the relations we derived previously for the values of being employed, sh shirking, and unemployed as the following equations one, two, and three. By the requirement of the no shirking condition, this implies that we could go and equivocate equations one and two. Uh, this is because uh, rho VE equal to rho VE is equivalent to our requirement for the no shirking condition. With a little bit of algebra, we learn that the difference between these two is equal to the effort that's put in all over Q, which is the detection rate. This equation implies that workers strictly prefer uh, employment over unemployment since this difference is positive. So to identify the wage for the no shirking condition, we would have to subtract equation two from equation one. This gives us the following relation. Noting uh, the fact that we found out before that the difference between these two values is equal to E bar over Q, we can solve for W. With a little bit of algebra, we go and we find that our no shirking condition is equal to e bar plus a plus b plus rho times e bar over q right we see from this equation that the wage required for workers not to shirk depends on the cost of effort which is e bar the job finding rate the job breakup rate the firm detection rate and the consumer's discount rate so though we should solve for the no shirking condition on the previous slide some solve for a directly by equating the number of workers becoming unemployed and the numbers of workers finding jobs to each other given by these equations right we go and we equivocate uh the, the unemployed workers finding jobs to the number of workers becoming unemployed right and this is given by these two equations where we have the job finding rate uh times this total uh number of workers l bar minus uh the number of workers that you know lost their jobs, right, NL, right, um, is equal to the number of firms times the number of workers times the job destruction rate. Um, with a little bit of algebra, we go and we get this A term, where, again, these variables I spoke up already. Um, further simplification, right, we want to know what A plus B is, so we can just go and knock out both those terms together. We go and we get the following, where we have A plus B is equal to L bar, times b all over l bar minus nl right thus we can use this result to simplify our no shirking condition to be the wage is equal to the effort that is put in plus uh l bar times b all over l bar minus nl plus rho times e bar all over q so that is our video on the no shirking condition in the next video we're going to talk about visualizing this model i'll see you then